We're going to have a look now at dialog boxes and palettes. There are subtle differences between the two in AutoCAD and you utilize both to set up settings within your AutoCAD environment so that you can create drawings like the interface drawing you can see on the screen at the moment. So let's have a look at a typical dialog box, something like let's say the Dimension Style Manager. I'm going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon, into the Annotation panel here and click on the Flyout and I'm going to select that icon there, the Dimension Style Manager. Now that brings up what is known as a dialog box. Now you can recognize a dialog box because the title bar is at the top of the actual box itself. Some dialog boxes are stretchable, so I can hover over a corner, click and drag, make it bigger, make it smaller. I can do the same on the edges, drag upwards and drag downwards and so on. You'll also notice that most dialog boxes in AutoCAD have a minimum size. You can't shrink them to tiny little squares on the screen. So you'll notice in this case, the Dimension Style Manager allows me to manage my dimension styles. It allows me to click on New and create a new dimension style. And again, there's another dialog box where I enter some settings and change something within my settings within AutoCAD. I'm going to click on Cancel there because I don't want to create a new dimension style. So what I'll do there now is I'll click on Close and that closes the dialog box. Sometimes you'll click on OK in a dialog box. Depends on what the dialog box is for. So what about something like a palette? How do they react differently? Well, let's go to the Layers panel on the Home tab on the ribbon and click on Layer Properties. Now, this is a palette, and you can tell it's a palette because the title bar is vertical on either side of the palette. So this is the Layer Properties Manager. And you'll notice there's some icons here. So I've got Properties. If I click on Properties there, it allows me to move it, size it, close it. It also allows me to dock it left or right. I can anchor it left or right hand side of the screen. I can switch on auto hide and I can make it transparent. So if I go to transparency, I can change it and I can say I don't want it solid. I want it to be, say, 50 percent. And can you see now I can see the drawing through the palette. If I make that solid again, it becomes opaque again. On the rollover, how transparent should the palette be on mouse over? Well, if I bring that back this way, I can change it and then click to preview it. Now, you'll notice I can't do anything with it at the moment because I haven't got the mouse over it, but I can click to preview that setting at any time. Now, I can apply these settings to all palettes in AutoCAD if I want to, and I can also disable all transparency if I want to as well. I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to. Now, you'll also notice there's an auto hide here. If I click on that, you'll see that now all I can see is the title bar of the palette. When I hover over it, it displays the whole palette, move away from it, goes back to the title bar again. And I can click and drag the title bar to say this part of the screen, move away from it, and it then doesn't get in the way of the drawing area while I'm trying to create my drawings in AutoCAD. I can switch off auto hide just by simply clicking on that icon again, and it displays the whole palette again. Now, if I wanted to dock a palette, I can drag it to one side. You'll see the ghost image there. When I release now, you'll see that it's docked. If I want to undock something, I come up here. I can close it like that, or if I want to undock it, I can click on these little dots, drag it back out again, and it's now a floating palette again. You can always click on the little cross here to close the palette as well. So dialog boxes and palettes, again, they're resizable in most instances. That's dialog boxes and palettes. You can resize either of them. You can also, with palettes, dock them, put auto hide on to make your drawing area bigger to allow you to utilize more screen real estate.